Hi, I'm Ashley with Get Fit with Ashley, and welcome to my standing core workout. Uh, let's get started with the warm up, okay? Gonna warm up your obliques, back, and your abs. So, this is all about standing core work today. Yes, you can get a good core workout without crunching. Let's go down and up again. Okay, as we warm up here, I will explain the workout to you. So, there are three circuits. All right, so you're gonna learn six different exercises today. And uh, we're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds. There'll be a break between circuits. All you need is one weight. Okay, all you need is one weight today, oblique crunch here. And I have a 10 pound. So I would suggest anything that's sort of a medium weight, maybe between five and 15, legs up. And that's all we're gonna need. You can also do the, uh, the workout without weight if you like. Um, but it's all upright. You can notice here I don't have a mat or anything like that. Do some side crunches. And we're going to get down to it. Grab a weight if you were choosing to use one. If not, here we go and let's get going. We are starting with wood choppers. Right foot front and chop across the body. Upper left to the lower right if your right foot is front. Exhale up, inhale down. Get a good twist on there. As you can see, I'm bending my back leg with that wood chopper and my front knee as well. We are going to switch to the other side. Here we go. Other leg. Up and down to the hip of the front leg. Start feeling this in your obliques. If the weight's too much, drop the weight but keep the hand motions. After this, we're getting in our sumo squat position, I'm doing some oblique crunches. Here we go. Sumo squat, toes are east and west, weight above the head, crunch side to side. Take your time. Inhale side, exhale up. Stay low in your squat. Weight starts to feel a little heavy here. We're gonna finish this one, and we are going back through that workout with the wood chopper again. Same side. So we're repeating these three moves. Halfway. Just pound these out, these reps. That's it. Big arms. Get ready, we're switching sides. Right here, other leg. It doesn't matter what order you do the legs in. Each one is a big oblique crunch. Sumo again with the oblique crunches is next, and then we're gonna get a break. Here we go. Last 30 seconds of this circuit. Break is coming. Feel the pull. Inhale down, exhale up. Yeah. Good. Drop the weight and take a break. You've got 30 seconds here. I'll show you the next exercises. I'm already sweating. Okay. Next up in 15 seconds, we start triangles. You're going to put the weight in one hand up above the head, palm facing forward. Slide the other one down the same leg and back up again. Trying to pretend this is a pail of water that you don't want to spill. Let's go. Down one leg. Touch the floor or the inside of the sneaker if you can. Get down as far as you can. Keep your opposite arm with the weight up. Don't tilt it. Don't tilt the weight. Don't bend your arm. Keep it straight. 
great oblique crunch here. We're gonna do this on the other side. Switch sides. Down. Good. Inhale down. Exhale up. Halfway. Woo, a little harder than it looks. Lighthouse is next. Good. Grab your weight with two hands. Arms are out. Twist side to side. This is your lighthouse. If you need a little less intensity, bring the weight closer to your chest here. Okay? If you can bring it out, bring it out as far as you can. Notice I'm pivoting my toes here so that I don't twist my knee. Okay? So feet should be free. Feet are free. We're going back to those triangles next. Let's start from the top of the circuit. Here we go. Down one leg. This is the second and final time through the circuit. Take your time. Inhale. Get control of your breathing and your reps. Showing strength and control. We've got this. Good, we have time for one or two more. Switch sides, palm facing front. This might be the, hard, might be the hardest one. It's so much harder than it looks, especially if your weight's pretty heavy up there. Lighthouse is coming up next, and then you know what? We have our break. Here we go, lighthouse. Last 30 seconds, really twist. Twist past the center line of your body. Really feel the torque. Keep your weight up high at chest level. Control your breathing, keep spinning. This is fun, you can let your momentum take you on this one. You should also be feeling it in your low back which is part of your core. Good job. All right, you can put that weight down. If you need a rest, all right. If you don't need a rest, then you're pretty, you're pretty fit. Okay, so we've come here to the last circuit. The last circuit I'll demo real quickly for you. They're gonna be knee drives. Okay, think of the 80s, think of aerobics. We're doing that on each side. One weight, ready, go. When you bend your arms in, your leg comes in. And you're springing off the back foot. I'm not really putting, I am putting a little weight on it, but I'm not staying there. I'm springing right back up into my crunch. That's it, 10 seconds, come on, fire them out. Spring right off the back foot. The supporting leg is bent. Here we go on the other side, let's go. It's a good workout for the arms too, if you've got a weight in your hand. Even if you don't, keep your arms big. Almost there. Jack knives are next. Jack knives are kicks. I'm only bringing my weight down about to my eye or nose level. I'm trying to get my leg as high as I can. That's the crunch part of this. We've got one more time through the circuit and we're all done. Knee drives, let's go. Oh. Make some cardio out of this, keep moving. Okay to drop the weight if you need to.
switch sides. Ready? Come on. 30. Oh, yeah. Come on. What a workout. Oh, yeah. I feel the burn everywhere. 10 seconds. Jack knives are last. Let's go. Last 30. Exhale up, inhale down. Halfway. Let's finish. Come on. Back to work if you're on a break. Almost there. All done. Woo! Oh, jeez. Drop the weight. Catch your breath. That was awesome. Stellar job. Let's stretch your obliques here on the side. Hand on the thigh or hip. Stretch to one side. Whoa! Standing core is some serious stuff. Oh my gosh. Other side of your oblique stretch. Let's put your hands behind your low back. Ab stretch. All good, arch your back here. And lastly, low back stretch. Hang down, cradle your arms. Let the weight of your head hang down for your stretch in your low back. And when you're ready, roll it on up. Great job today. That was rough. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. I'm Ashley from Get Fit with Ashley, and I'll see you next time.